2022 and 2023 have been very good years for monkeys. We've had Kingdom Monkeys. We've had Rise of the Beast Monkeys. We've had monkeys coming out our wazoos. But you know what? There's always room for one more, especially when they come from AliExpress. This is Gorilla Leader, Commander of Justice. And as I said, I picked this up over at AliExpress. It was about like 20 bucks. In fact, it's currently retailing for a lot less than $20. Uh, I, I paid for it and it's gone 42% off on AliExpress on the listing that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, it is a third party gorilla. Gorilla Prime. Yeah, if I had a monkey shelf, this would be a good uh, addition to that monkey shelf. Now, the figure itself is from the same fine folks that brought you that car that, or I should say the despot car and the green truck that we looked at earlier this year. Same company. What is it? Li Jiang? Is that how you pronounce it? I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce anything in Chinese. Please forgive me. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. A little lazy, but I mean, how many other ways are you going to be able to transform a gorilla into a humanoid form? They've gone for an interesting deco here of a cat snuggling, trying to get snuggles. No, Hobby Boy, it is not snuggle time. It is review the monkey time. It is not snuggle time. Ah, my camera. The more robotic gorilla mode works incredibly well for this figure, especially the detailing and the molding along the arms and the especially the back. The back molding is simply just wonderful. I love all the little attention to details they've got. And the lack of fur works in this figure's favor. It just is a robotic gorilla. And I appreciate a robotic gorilla. Posability is pretty darn good in this mode, except for one major problem. Head can move up and down and can get a lot of posability up and down. There's no side to side joint, so the figure can't turn its head at all, which is a shame because that really would make the figure absolutely perfect. And yeah. Yeah, that, that's my biggest complaint in this mode. One thing that I do greatly appreciate is there are tabs or there are pegs on the back here that you peg the legs into that keep the upper legs in position. And I wish the other monkey bots had that feature. That, that would be really nice. Now, if you've seen an Optimus Primal transformation in the past year or two, you, you know how this is going to go. First, we'll come up to the shoulders and flip closed these sections come back to the back of the figure and split the legs apart and flip up that panel, flip out the kneecaps or the knee armor and straighten the legs out on these ratchets and then straighten the, those legs out all the way like that. Take the entire rear part and turn around 180 degrees, put the arms down and flip the, well, I guess you would call them shoulder pads up and you could see where we're going here. Turn the arms, turn the fists, and then for the chest, actually, you know what? I'm just going to leave it there. This looks perfect. Okay, no, I'm not. That's just, it looks so silly. I love it. For the head, make sure the head is up all the way. Grab the chest, open it up, flip out the robot head, flip down the chest and fold, or head and fold it into the chest, close that up, and we're done. And the robot mode we end up with is stunning. That's the only word I can come up with is stunning. I mean, look at the detailing on that chest. That's better than any other Optimus Primal figure we've gotten so far. The head sculpt is not Optimus Primal, obviously, but it's good. It reminds me or makes me think of an Optimus Primal with a full battle mask. That's what it looks like to me. And the overall aesthetic that we end up with is it's, it's perfect. Except for the butt flap. It would have been very nice if there was a, a swivel here so you could turn it around and then put it flat up against the back. As it stands, it just kind of leans down and looks like a, it looks kind of like a weird diaper. The figure comes with two accessories, the first of which is this big old rifle. And yeah, big old rifle works well. I, I like it. I would love there to be a little bit more paint. I would have preferred a darker blue or the red to go with the rest of the figure, but that's something I can just paint myself. One big screw hole on the one side, no screw hole on the other. The other accessory the figure comes with is this big old sword with apparently only the cutting blade up 
here. And then I don't know if this is, it doesn't look like anything else has a cutting part. So the rest of it's just kind of useless as a sword and getting it into the hand requires so much force and then getting it out of the hands requires even more because you have to wiggle it back and forth and pray that it doesn't snap but i can't argue with the way it looks it looks really cool and threatening i mean that just looks neat Posability wise head can swivel side to side and look up a little bit and look down a bit head is kind of stuck in there because of the shoulder or collar there's so much less room than you think there is so it can't move all that well shoulders themselves are on big old ball joints that have lots of range of movement and then below that is a swivel above the elbow elbow bends on ratchet and then the fists do articulate they or I should say the wrists articulate, the actual hands do not have any articulation. There is the torso swivel that you saw earlier. Legs are on ball joints as well and can kick forward at about 90 degrees, can kick back at about 80 degrees, and can go almost all the way out at about 75, 80 degrees. There is a thigh swivel. Bend at the knee is well over 90 degrees and it is a double bend. So there is a ratcheting bend up in the thigh and then the knee itself is also ratcheted and then the feet are on ball joints but they are a bit limited due to the amount of plastic around the actual ball joint even though some of the joints are a bit limited you can pull off some decent poses i particularly like this one where he's or it is kind of falling over not really falling over but getting ready to fight that's a good pose the figure is also balanced enough that it can balance on one leg which is really impressive though getting it to that point is a little tricky but you can do it it's possible really it is honest there we go i did it yay dang it mr cyber gorilla can use a slightly smaller t-rex as a mount it doesn't really work all that well given the scale. In terms of scale, the figure is a little bit taller than Leader Class Studio Series Grimlock and a, just a smidge shorter than Studio Series 86 Commander Class Ultra Magnus. Now the head is about the same level, maybe just a few, like five sixteenths of an inch shorter than Magnus's head at the antenna, but obviously he's shorter than the giant pylons. The figure then towers over Voyager class and Deluxe class figures, and he could probably eat Legends class figures for breakfast. Now, how does this guy stack up to the other monkey bots? Well, it's about the same size as the Takara Big Commander version, and then it towers over all the other versions. But the one thing Gorilla Leader has that the ROTB figures are all missing is color. There's a lot of detail, or colored detail, I should say, in this figure. And it just feels more like a Transformer than these three do. Yeah, these three, yeah, they all transform into gorillas, but they're all lacking color. Where we have, you know... Kingdom Prime, he's got plenty of color in the robot mode, and then a lot of that color is hidden in the gorilla mode, which makes sense. And somewhat same with Gorilla Leader. And for your information, the figure is just a little bit too big for the chair. Just a little bit too big. If the chair was a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper, he would fit perfectly. Gorilla Leader is a fun figure, and it's definitely worth picking up. I'll have a link to AliExpress down in the comments, and really, if you're interested in it, it's only 20 bucks, and I think it was like 10 to 15 for shipping. So you're getting a pretty darn good figure for a decent price that's about the same level of plastic quality as these two guys. So folks, let me know what you think of Gorilla Leader down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. As always, I have been on Ball Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.